girls and guys, it's Presley, and welcome to my very first Q&A video. So a long time ago, I said that I was going to make a future uh, Q&A video in the future, and I got a couple of comments from the community tab, and a couple of those comments had a lot of questions. So I wrote down all of the questions um, on a sheet of paper, and I'm just going to answer them the best I can. And a little heads up, some of these questions are going to be a bit weird. Not all of them, just a couple. Okay, first question. What are your goals for your YouTube channel? Well, I'm not sure if I have a, a lot of goals. It's just originally my goal was to surpass my dead YouTube channel that had 80 subscribers. And now I have like over 124 subscribers. So I'd say that goal is fulfilled. But if I have any other future goals for my YouTube channel, I don't necessarily have any future goals. I'm just doing whatever I feel like I'm I'm doing for this channel. I'm just I just feel like doing whatever. It is what it is. Next question. Do you have any big plans for 2024? Well, the only big plans I have is to go to Utah in August to celebrate my mom graduating from online school for the past 2 years. So, those are my big plans for now, and if I do have any big plans, I could make videos about it in the future. Who knows? Anyway, next question. What are your favorite movies? I don't have a necessarily, I don't necessarily have a favorite movie per se, but it kind of varies. If I watch a movie and I like it, cool. I wouldn't consider it favoritism, but if I, if I watch a movie and I like it, cool, I can watch it again. But if I don't like it, then I wouldn't watch it. So I don't have any favorites, if you if you want to know. I don't have any favorite movies. I just watch whatever I feel like watching, you know, Star Wars, anything Disney, um, any action, any, any cool stuff like that. Did you get your wisdom teeth removed? Yes, I did. And it took, um, for the anesthesia part, it took like a good minute or two for the anesthesia to kick in. So I had to wait for... A while I just had to lay back and wait for the anesthesia to kick in and I didn't say any loopy stuff when I woke up because when I woke up I remembered what the doctor said that it, it was a successful procedure and that one wisdom tooth took a lot a while a look a what a lot excuse me a lot while longer to remove because how how it was in there for pretty good while it was stuck in there so they had to like remove it a lot longer than the other ones and so the recovery process wasn't horrible on my fourth or fifth day I would I ended up suffering from a headache and nausea that was pretty bad but it ended up subsiding after a while thank god so the recovery process the, the recovery process for the wisdom tooth um, surgery can be a bitch but hey it's not that bad as long as you get through the recovery process best you can take care of your mouth so you reduce swelling and redness that's good anyway next question do you play any musical instruments no i do not unless you count the recorder i don't play any musical instruments um uh, my mom has wanted me to play the flute for a while um, when i was like in middle school she wanted me to play the flute but i didn't want to play any musical instruments because they weren't my thing i wasn't very interested in playing mu any musical instruments at that time and still i don't play any musical instruments today i don't i'm not interested in any of that stuff so uh next question what was your favorite subject in school I've always loved art class in um, growing up. It's always been my thing. I love to draw, I love to color. It's still been a thing for me ever since I've grown up and you know getting older. I still like to draw and color every once in a while. I don't do it as often as I used to, but back when I was in school, I would, I would do it quite a lot. But um, ever since, um, I didn't do art class from sophomore year onward because you know I had a dumb excuse for not doing art class for those um remainders of high school it's because we had we got a new teacher for my sophomore year of high school and um I didn't like change so I ended up quitting art after that but 
I didn't necessarily quit, quit art altogether. I still have my passion for drawing, coloring, sketches, and stuff like that. I still, I have a bunch of drawings and sketches on my bookshelf. If any of you guys want me to make a future video about that, I'll do it. So anyway, what type of music do you like? I would have to say I like rock music the, the best. Originally, I liked pop music and a little bit of rap music, but if I had to pick one music type, I had to say rock music. When it like Nickelback, Breaking Benjamin, Linkin Park, the good stuff like that. I, I really like to jam out from rock, from rock music. And yes, I love Nickelback. Some people like Nickelback, some people don't. I'm one of those people that love Nickelback and I've been to one of their concerts. And it was the first concert I've ever been to. So anyway, next question. This one's gonna be a bit weird, so heads up for this one. What do you think is the safest way for animal control to catch a big bear on the neighborhood? I don't know why someone asked this question, but I'm gonna answer it the best I can. So if I've ever if I ever see a big bear strolling around my neighborhood, I would make sure my cat is in the house because I have an in and out cat. So I make sure my cat is nowhere near that big bear and doesn't get eaten or mauled by that big bear because I love my cat to death and I love my dog to death. And I don't want anything happening while they're outside. If there's a big bear strolling around my neighborhood, I would call animal control, make sure they handle this situation the safest way they can. They do it in the calm and orderly manner and get the bear out of my fucking neighborhood so it doesn't cause any property damage or any damage to my pets, excuse me, to my pets at all. Cause it's, it would be crazy if I ever saw a big bear like Yo like Yogi Bear or any big ass bear like Cocaine Bear rolling around my neighborhood. Cause golly, Cocaine Bear, shit. If I ever see uh, anything like Cocaine Bear, fuck it, I'm staying in the house. I don't want anything coming in, breaking into my house. It would probably search for cocaine, it would search for anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, next question. What's your dream job? I don't necessarily have a dream job. I'm just going with the flow. Whatever job I have, the job I have right now, I work at a program to watch over um, kids with disabilities like Down syndrome and stuff like that. It's taken me a while to get used to that job, but it's not that bad. I, I do miss working at the library a, a lot. Because, you know, it was it was quiet, it was peaceful, the people, uh, the workers in there were chill. I didn't encounter any Karens, thank God, at that time. So, I don't necessarily have a dream job. Because I feel like if I did have a dream job, it would, I don't know, it would take a while for me to accomplish that dream job. And I'm not the best when it comes to being consistent or making up goals. I'm very terrible at making up new goals. Because I know making up goals is very important for everybody's day, but I'm not the greatest when it comes to making goals. So I don't have a dream job, if that answers your question. What TV shows have you been watching recently? If you're talking like reality show, actually, the last um, TV show I've watched recently was called My Feet Are Killing Me. It's like a TLC show. Where a bunch of these um, people go to the, like these doctors for these certain foot conditions because I was obsessed with watching that show for a while and I wanted to buy the show like those four seasons on YouTube I bought them and I watched those episodes and I'm addicted I guess you could say I'm a foot fetish now I guess I got I got it for my mom so I've been addicted to watching all those people getting their foot, um, there's feet procedures taken care of, going through surgery, going through a bunch of other stuff. Bad calluses, bad bad tumors in their feet. It's it's crazy. So that if you wanna if that answers your question, it's called My Feet Are Killing Me. Look it up on YouTube and stuff like that. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Now it varies depending on who I watch the most or who I'm really subscribed to because the only YouTubers that I'm subscribed to is Dead Meat, It's Just Nick, and Sam Collins. I think. I think there was a fourth one that I was subscribed to, but those are the three ones that I can remember at the top of my head. Other shows that I watch randomly on occasions, Corey X Kenshin, Brave Wilderness, Classic Man D, RNA, 
good stuff like that. You know, I watch on occasions. I'm not subscribed to them or anything. I just watch them randomly. Anyway, next one. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I do. I got one on my wrist and it did hurt. It was like a six out of 10 pain. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 pain. It was a six out of 10 pain, but as soon as I, it got up to my wrist right up here, it evolved into a seven out of 10 pain because I kept my wrist still as I could. I dealt with the pain. I closed my eyes when it got the most painful on the top of my wrist for that peace sign, but I really, I've been thinking about getting a tattoo for a long time and I feel like it would mentally destroy me if I kept thinking about wanting a tattoo or not wanting a tattoo. So for the hell of it, I got a tattoo and I'm, and I am proud of it. I don't regret it at all. Anyway, what made you start a YouTube channel? Originally, it was to surpass my dead YouTube channel because my my dead YouTube channel, I am not proud of that YouTube channel whatsoever. I was 14 when I started that YouTube channel. I used my high school account for that YouTube channel and I am not proud of what I made on there. I made very cringy YouTube plush videos a little bit, but then I ended up evolving the plush videos and adding it into making it a story called The Adventures of Red Yoshi or whatever. And eventually I grew tired of making plush videos, so I gave all my plushies away. And I wanted to make something different for myself, talk about different topics and other things. And that's why I made this channel. I wanted to make sure it's better than that other dumbass channel I made. I Wish I could go back in time and make Peaceful Presley a bit earlier in my high school years. I wish I could have made it back in 10th grade or 9th grade, but I made this channel when I graduated my junior year of high school when COVID hit. So if that answers your question, what made me start my YouTube channel? It was to surpass my dead YouTube channel that I had in the past and that I'm still not proud of at all. What socks do you wear? Again, another odd question, but I'll answer it anyway. I wear, I'm very generic when it comes to socks. I wear a lot of black and white socks. That's it. No fancy schmancy stuff like that. I, only, I have one pair of fuzzy socks, though, that I wear um, on occasions whenever my feet get cold, but not a whole bunch. So, yeah, very generic, very bland, black and white socks. That's all I wear. Um, which countries do you like to visit? I do think about visiting Japan every once in a while because, you know, they got a lot of cool anime and manga stuff there. So I'm a big anime fan myself. But I can tell you what country I do not want to visit. I do not want to visit North Korea because I've heard a lot of bad shit about North Korea. And I don't want to go there because they treat their people horribly. I... I honestly feel bad for the people who live in North Korea and wish that they want a better life for themselves, but they just can't because they're stuck in a country that are very strict and very harmful to their citizens. I'm not, I'm trying not to be political about this because I don't know shit about politics, but if I, I would never go to North Korea, um, country I would never want to visit, but the country I would want to visit the most, maybe Japan. If not, if I can't visit Japan, then I'll visit whatever country is like, you know, that costs the least amount of money or whatnot. Anyway, what uh, next question. What are your favorite clothing stores? I, uh, okay, this one, I am not like one of those girly girly type people who like to, who are obsessed with shopping for new clothes, new shoes, new jackets, anything like that. I'm not one of those obsessive girly type of people. So, I save my money on clothes because I wear the same shit all the time. Don't like change, but but when it comes to stores, I do shop on two different websites whenever I want to find something new and something interesting. It's Old Navy and Tort because they got the they got the um right size for me of shirts that I wear and you know, if I find something cute there, I'll get it. And if my mom approves of that outfit, she'll let me buy it. She'll let me take it. So if you want to know my favorite clothing websites, Tord and Old Navy, but if it's stores, it can be Walmart, it can be anything generic. I'm boring as hell, I know. 
So anyway, next question. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. I currently have a dog and a cat and I both, I love them both. Not necessarily equally because they can both be chaotic at times. So it can be, it can random depending on how their, how their day is, what their mood is, how chaotic they can be together or separately. But regardless, I love them both. I love them both. And I don't regret not having them at all. Still love them to pieces. Anyway, what are your favorite books to read? Romance books. It's always been romance books. I've read a, a few thriller books here and there, but but mostly, it's just mostly romance. I've always loved the concept of love, even if a lot of it is fictional love. I don't give a shit. I love love and I love romance. So, okay, next question that I've been dying to answer. Do you watch anime or read manga? And I've read four different mangas. I've read one Tokyo Ghoul book, one Naruto book. It was Scarlet. It was something about, said something about Scarlet, whatever. It was Sarda's story from Boruto, which I like Boruto, by the way. So anyway, next one. Okay, other one I read was another one called Citrus. And there's this fourth one that, I remember reading, but I can't remember what it's called. The only reason why I read it is because it had a bunch of women in the cover. And I just, I, at that time when I was like, I was like a sophomore in high school and I came out as a lesbian and I saw that book, I was like, damn, it's got a lot of cute women on there. So I just picked it and I read it and I don't have those manga books anymore. I just, um, I just read them because I've never read a manga book before, so... But anime, yes, I watch a lot of anime. I'm currently watching Bleach, and it's very good. Oh, spoilers, by the way, because I am about to rant the shit out of this little thing about Bleach. Because I hate how they do my boy Chad. This character, Chad, would get, like, this certain power-ups for his both of his arms, and as soon as he defeats this one character, another strong character immediately destroys Chad as soon as he gets this power up. I'm like, what the fuck? He's not my favorite character, but I hate how they do him like that. I hate how they do my boy like that. He's not my favorite character out of all the Bleach cast, but I hate how they do my boy Chad like that. That's unfair and stupid as fuck. So anyway, what is your f biggest fear? <sighs> Wondering where I'm going to go after death. I've always been afraid of the concept of death, but the thing I'm most afraid of is where I'm going to go after death. Am I going to heaven? Am I going to hell? Or if it's just going to be like a dark, empty void, like purgatory or some shit. That's always been my biggest fear ever since I've known the concept of death. Because no matter how hard you can try to hide the concept of death to children and even censor the word death and on TV... Kids can't avoid death because it happens every day. So the fact that death happens all the time, it's scary to know when I'm going to die and how I'm going to die, but I won't know it. The scariest part is not knowing how or when. So anyway, last question for this Q&A. Do you play any video games? I used to. Way before I used to do um, read a lot of books for two years, Back then, I played video games, and I'm very terrible at playing video games. So the only video games that I'm very good at is Pokemon, any RPG game like Pokemon, Luigi's Mansion, anything simple like Nintendo. But if it's any shooter games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Halo Reach, I suck at shooter games. <coughs> Excuse me. I suck at shooter games. I'm very terrible at them. So my brothers are pros at shooter games. They would always beat me all the time. They would never, they would let me get like a couple of wins, but here and there, but nothing special. So I would just play games that I'm, you know, that would have some like, you know, easy difficulty. I would always pick the easy one. I would never pick hard. I'm always just gonna just pick the easy way out. I'm never, I'm not an expert, so... Do I play video games? Yes, I do. I'm very bad at them, but I did. I don't play video games anymore, but 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 at by that time I did, I enjoyed playing video games at that time. So anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry I've been, you know, if my voice has been a bit here and there and I've been coughing, I've been dealing with a lot of stress at work and all that stress at work has probably made me, you know, ill. I've never felt like this before. I never felt like this whenever I was working at my last job at the library. So knowing that I've been working for this program for disabled children and it's very stressful and it caused me to, you know, have a sore throat, cough a lot. And it's just not fun. I'm hoping it'll get better eventually, but I wanted to make this Q&A because, you know, a, lot, um, a couple of comments on my channel wanted me to make a Q&A. So I'm making a Q&A even though I'm sick. So I'm sorry that this video is very long. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.